Hey, it's David from Imply. Today, we are gonna talk about what is Apache Druid and what is it for? You know, Apache Druid is a real-time analytics database, but its use is very different than what we kind of think of as analytics. Let me explain. When we think about analytics today, we kind of think of a workflow that looks something like this. You got an executive stakeholder looking for information of some sort of aspect of their business. They work with a data analyst who's then responsible for figuring out what are those queries that are required to be able to generate the report that the executive is looking for. They'll obviously use their favorite BI tool of choice. They'll run some SQL, and that SQL will then initiate a query onto a data warehouse. And the data warehouse is obviously getting data historically from a variety of different sources. Now the output of the queries coming out of the data warehouse then generates a report. Now, the thing about this is when we look at this kind of standard reporting workflow that every business uses, there are a ton of technologies that are leveraged here. You got Snowflake, BigQuery, Redshift, Databricks, and what have you. But there are some assumptions about the workflow. And the first and the kind of the biggest one here is the fact that this report, whether it arrived 10 minutes sooner or 20 minutes later or five minutes sooner, five minutes later, it really makes no bearing on the overall workflow that's occurring here. And so we call this reports, right? In a reports use case, you don't have that much performance sensitivity in terms of how fast the queries have to get processed. And you're predominantly just working with historical data that was batch uploaded maybe the night before. Now, Apache Druid was really built for this whole world of applications. And you know, with applications, you're talking about lots and lots of users, you're talking about you know, interactivity, you're talking about SLAs, you're talking about use cases that are much more performance sensitive. And so when people are using Apache Druid, they're kind of looking at Druid for one of three reasons. The first is the ability to support sub-second queries at scale. You know, the ability to do analytics, large scale aggregations and group buys on data warehouses is something that people, you know, naturally do. But the performance is not that important, so you can wait 15 minutes for a report to get generated. When people are using Druid, they're doing because it's incredibly fast and it's designed to support these subject and queries across trillions of rows of data from terabytes to even petabyte sized data sets. The second reason why people like using Apache Druid is because it supports high concurrency. When we think about applications, we're thinking about you know, potentially very interactive dashboards, the ability to do unrestricted slice and dice, the ability to support lots of users at the same time. And so when you're dealing with highly concurrent environments, you really have to have an architecture that's designed for that CPU efficiency to get the most performance out of the smallest hardware footprint. And so that's another reason why folks like to use Apache Druid is its ability to support high concurrency or otherwise known as QPS. And the third reason they use Druid is really because of real-time data. And this is really the ability to support stream-based ingestion from things like Apache Kafka or Amazon Kinesis. And to put it all in context for you, the best way to look at it is kind of look at an example. And so here, what we're talking about is Confluent. Confluent's obviously the folks that had created Apache Kafka from the beginning. They really define what modern streaming data is all about. Confluent runs their amazing cloud service called Confluent Cloud. With Confluent Cloud, they're generating a ton of events, and they're obviously using Kafka to move those events into their analytics database, which happens to be Apache Druid. And they do this for observability. And so they want to be able to ensure that they're delivering the best cloud experience for their customers, and so they want to be able to mine that data coming off of all the events that's really being driven off the application logs and metrics from their cloud service. But this happens to be incredible scale. You're dealing with here 5 million events per second. So a large amount of scalability is required to be able to support the ingestion throughput for this use case. They obviously want to keep the latency down, and that's why they appreciate the native stream ingestion going into Druid. And then on the front end, they're building applications. And these applications are supporting both internal stakeholders as well as external stakeholders. And so when you look at this overall workflow for Confluent, do they have the requirements for a sub-second performance at any scale? Absolutely. Lots of event-driven data, powering applications for lots of stakeholders, performance SLAs are critical. 
Do they have a need for high concurrency? Absolutely. They're dealing with 350 queries per second driven because of the interactive dashboarding that they're creating for their customers and that, that is really driving a lot of concurrency and queries per second. And then are they having a requirement for real-time data? Absolutely, right? And so this is really why folks like to use Apache Druid. It's not for the classic reporting workflows because there's tons of you know, folks that can do that. It's really about this whole new world of applications and really specifically real-time analytics applications. Thanks so much.